Hi, I'm Shuba. Uh, I'm here to talk about a little bit on the theory of menstrual health in Ayurveda. And we're going to talk about how ways to understand not to have cramps or any other symptoms that negatively affect your life. Okay. So what is Ayurveda? Ayurveda means the science of life. It's an ancient system of healing that focuses on the complete person, which includes the body, mind, and spirit. Ayurveda says that for complete wellness to occur, the body, mind, and spirit must be in harmony with each other, and it must be naturally resistant to conditions that cause disease. As mentioned, Ayurveda is about living in harmony. By that I mean understanding that there is a purpose behind every function that your body has. And when it comes to menstruation, that means we really shouldn't artificially mess with what your body wants to do. There's a reason that you menstruate, and it's to cleanse your body and prepare for having babies, and being healthy. Ayurveda defines wellness not just as the absence of defined disease, but when all the bodily tissues, organs, systems, and functions are acting together in a healthy way and are able to maintain health and wellness in spite of potential illness-causing influences. Ayurveda believes that by balancing the various mind-body functions, the natural intelligence of the body will automatically bring itself to wellness. Now, when it comes to menstruation, Having a proper diet and proper physical activity per your body is very important, as is with everything in your life. Uh, in Ayurveda, the doshas are the forces that govern all the functions of your body. And when it comes to menstruation, vata is the energy that governs movement. And so when it comes to menstruation, that's the downward movement of the menstrual fluids. It also is what, where pain, all pain is considered vata. And the main area of vata is the abdomen below the navel, which is all the reproductive organs, and the pelvic area. Pitta is the energy of digestion, metabolism, and transformation. It's related to heat and blood. Uh, when it comes to menstruation, uh, Ambika may talk about uh, how too much spicy foods, uh, or yeah, too much spicy foods or too much excess heat might uh, increase the flow of your menstrual period too much. Kapha is the strength of the body and also relates to fluids and the stability of the body. Now, Ayurveda doesn't view each bodily system of, or cycle of life as separate. Everything we put into our bodies has effect, which is why keeping all the doshas in balance is specifically important for women, not just during your cycle, but during the whole month. And it's, in fact, the whole month leading up to your cycle that will dictate how your cycle will react in your body. The goal of all of this is to have pain-free, vibrant life, not just in menstruation, but to not have to go through pain as you go through menopause or go through any excess symptoms later on. So what is healthy menstruation? It's a natural phenomenon responsible for creating healthy pregnancies and progeny. It's one that comes every 24 or 30 days consistently. So for you, that could be 26 days, but as long as that's, you're consistent, then that is normal. Um, if you're fluctuating between 24 and 31 days in each, every other month, then that may be something that we should look into fixing. Uh, it is also one, a healthy menstruation is one that's approximately two to five days of bleeding. Moderate bleeding also being the key word. If it's just uh, scanty or excessive, like you're soaking through multiple pads or tampons in an hour or two, then that's also not uh, normal health. So you should also be having the absence of symptoms such as heavy bleeding, clots, severe abdominal or back pain, white discharge, delayed menses, or even intermenstrual bleeding. Uh, to go relate back to the doshas, some heavy bleeding would be a symptom of possibly uh, too much pitta. Clots could be either excess pitta or kapha. Any of the pain is likely vata related. The white discharge would be kapha. And delayed menses is most of the time vata, excess vata. So the importance of keeping vata in check is one of the most important dosha to always keep in check. It governs all movement of everything in the body, and it's the main dosha. To, it controls all the other. If vata is out of whack, then the others will be out of whack. Um, and menstruation is very important to not, not aggravate vata. You want to keep everything flowing. 
Ampika will probably go a little deeper into this, but she might go in far as to say, like, don't run marathon, don't dance a marathon on your head specifically, keep the movement going downwards. Um, how many of you have experienced the, the negative symptoms of men related to menstruation? <laughs> That's a lot. That's everybody, just to be clear, for not on the camera. Uh, I also have experienced the negative effects. Uh, mostly when I was younger, I used to be, have cramps where I had to sit in a bathtub for four to five days and couldn't really function, couldn't go to school. Uh, it was really bad. Um, by the time I found Ayurveda, I was having babies and breastfeeding, and I wasn't having my periods. Uh, eventually, when I started having them again, I was pleased to find out that they're consistent 28 days with no pain, which was not the case that was before I had children and before I was practicing Ayurveda. Uh, so really just following basic things and taking care of yourself is very important. It's really important. So another couple good signs of oops, there we go. There. couple good signs of healthy menstruation would be there should be some noticeable smell, but not by other people. So for you, you should be no, noticing the changes. Like there's some different smell going on with you, but not enough for the person next to you to be able to tell. But you're you're having you're having changes in your body, and it's kind of a wake up for you to be alert and be very in touch with what is going on and the changes that are occurring in your body. I think as a woman, we should be able to look at this time as a time to rejuvenate and reset and not be afraid to ask for help to take on some of your workload and not do anything in ex excess. <laughs> 